Hey there folks, welcome back to the channel. I am Rob and today I'm doing my weekly watch number one. Uh, basically where I watch movies all week and on the weekend I show you guys what I watch. I usually keep it at two movies per day and I usually do a theme as well. In parentheses I'm going to put what theme it is. And uh, so this week I went with a random horror week. Basically watch any kind of movie that's a horror movie, it doesn't matter. Um, it was a lot of fun, you know, some of these movies I got to catch up on after not seeing them for a while, and uh, I've already done this video with the mask on and all that stuff, but I wanted to redo it because that's not really what I want to do. Uh, I'm just going to be plain old me, you know, I think people seem to like that better, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, anyway, yeah, let's get started here, uh, like, you know, Monday through Friday, two movies per day. Next week is going to be a different theme. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. Actually, it should be, I should say this week <laughs> because, um, you know, it's already Monday. So, all right, guys. So the first one here is, of course, the reanimator. Yes. Um, Herbert West up to uh, his experiments on uh, fresh corpses, you know, reanimation stuff. I love the effects in this movie. Um, I love the character Herbert West. I really love him. Um, but yeah, good movie still holds up today. Uh, the next one I watched on Monday is the Human Centipede 2 full sequence. And you have this guy named Martin who is a, a security guard who is obsessed with the Human Centipede, the, the doctor, like what he did as a three Human Centipede uh, thing. He wants to do a 12 human centipede thing where he messes a lot of things up and he tries to um, mimic what the doctor did but he just keeps screwing up so it's brutal man um i don't know i might like this one more than the first uh it's definitely brutal moving on to tuesday from dimension extreme i watched eden lake basically this couple goes to the lake and there's these kids who start harassing them and picking on them and stuff and like they get really violent and um do stuff to them and michael fassbender you know what they do to him is crazy but um john uh james watkins directed this kelly riley's in it she's been in quite a few horror films but i really like this one i don't know definitely watch this one if you haven't the other one I watched on Tuesday is Hostel Part 2, directed by Eli Roth. Um, instead of three male backpackers from the first one, you got three ladies in this one. Um, so they kind of switched it up there. But the only thing is, this is more story-driven than the first. Um, the first one was all about sex and, like, you know, uh, torture porn. This one does have the torture stuff in it and the kills, but you get to see from the perspective of the killer. Um, these rich people who pay money to do whatever they want to people. They basically auction off people uh, at this factory and the rich people come in and get to do, they get to choose how to kill this person, how, you know, however they want. They get to choose by paying a ton of money because they're like bored and rich. Um, really interesting. I, I thought this was more interesting than the first. I love the story behind it. Moving on to Wednesday, uh, I watched this really cool horror film that you guys have probably never heard of, and it's called The Redwood Massacre. Um, now, this is by Uncorked. I love Uncorked films. Um, basically, about a there's a legendary murder site where some murders happened, and these campers visit that site and find out that the the legend is true, and that this killer's you know running around with an axe. And he kind of looks like Jason from Part 2, but he looks more badass in my opinion. He's got that, like, claw thing. It almost looks like a scarecrow. It almost looks like a scarecrow mask in a way, but he's built like Jason. He actually moves like Jason. It would be cool to see him go up against Jason. I would love to see him go up against him, but Redwood Massacre is really awesome. They did, ha they do have another one out called the Redwood Massacre Annihilation. I think that's what it's called. I do own it. I have not seen it yet, but um, yeah, there's that one. And then we have Kevin Cosner and the new daughter. Um, you never really see Kevin Cosner in these kind of films, but, uh, 
basically they live in this house and the daughter keeps looking out the window out at the forest and it's like something's calling to her there's like this mound and these mounds have been proven to be real across the the world um these ancient mounds that like they say like where people used to live um there's like grass and debris and like dirt and, and, and stuff like that and it's almost like if you if you think of like a pyramid how a pyramid is like triangle but inside there's like shafts and stuff like that you can go into a mound of course is not triangle but it's round but you can go in it there's like like paths and stuff so there's these there's these like ancient creatures that are down there it almost reminds me of the descent but above ground um yeah this one's really good and then kevin cosner's running around trying to figure out what's wrong with his daughter and stuff so really good thursday i made it a wild eye week or i shouldn't say week i made it a wild eye day sorry yeah thursday i made it a wild eye thursday Moving on to Thursday, I made it a Wild Eye Day, and Wild Eye Releasing is a great um, independent horror company. Go check out their website, wildeyereleasing.com. Also on YouTube, they have Wild Eye Releasing, where you can see trailers. So if you want to watch the trailers to these two films that I'm going to mention, definitely do so. They're really cool. First one is Plagueers. Uh, how I compare this is you take Alien. And you take Doom and you combine them together. That's what this movie is. It's got the alien kind of atmosphere and then Doom with the with these like demonic creatures. But basically, you got a um, fuel transport vessel bound for Earth. And there is an alien virus that's accidentally released. And the contagions of it mutates the people on there. And they turn into like demonic creatures that are crazy. Um, there's a couple of them right down there. The effects are really good in this movie. They are really good for an independent horror film. Um, really, really good stuff, man. I, I was really impressed with this. Good, good job, Wild Eye. They do a lot. Wild Eye does really good on their cover arts too. And the other one is the Sitter from Wild Eye. Basically, this girl gets a job cat sitting okay she gets a job cat sitting at this big old mansion these people are weird they like show her around the mansion they go upstairs and like there's like this locked door well she's there all by herself and like she starts hearing noises and things moving around and she can't get through this door because it's locked and there's like this demonic presence that's basically stalking her and in her dreams and stuff like that um yeah, this, it's really good. It's really interesting. It kind of keeps you wanting more to see what's going on. So, really good movie called The Sitter. And I ended Friday here with a couple of movies. We have Nicole Kidman and the others. Saw this in the movie theater. Loved it. Um, it has a really good twist at the end. I did not see it coming. Basically, you know, Nicole Kidman is this mother of two children that are they're in this big old... Uh, house and it's during the war i think it's like during i don't know if it's like during world war world war one or two anyway so her husband's off fighting in the war so they're there by them by themselves and they have these butlers and stuff but it's like no one can leave the house the kids can't even walk around in the daylight because they got this medical condition so they have to like have the curtains closed and stuff but there's this ghost that's like moving stuff and like opening the curtains and things like that. So they're trying to figure out who this ghost is, like who's haunting the place. Um, that's when the twist comes in. The twist re is really good. It is a really good twist. And Nicole Kidman was great in this movie. So uh, then I ended it with The Remaining. And basically this has a religious tone where it's the end of the world. The rapture happens. And everyone who is left on Earth is basically made to suffer um there's like these dem demonic presence like the all these demons and stuff running around killing people and like they have to survive or try to survive the like the tribulation or whatever it is but 
Like, yeah, people are raptured, and um, it was a good way to make a horror film out of, you know, when you read the Bible and it, and it talks about the last days and how people are left behind and it's going to be horrible for them, that is in itself a horror film. That's how you, that is a real-life horror experience. So they made a movie about it, which was a, a really good move, in my opinion. But yeah, that's where you have the remaining. Really good movie. I don't think a lot of people have seen this one, so definitely check this one out. Anyway, guys, that is uh, my weekly watch uh, for Random Horror Week. Uh, you know, just really quick, recap Monday, Reanimator, along with The Human Centipede 2 Full Sequence. Tuesday, Eden Lake, along with Hostel Part 2. Wednesday, The Redwood Massacre, along with The New Daughter. Thursday, Wild Eye Day, Plagers, along with The Sitter, and Friday, The Others, along with The Remaining. So, hope you guys enjoyed this weekly watch. I'll be back with more of these, and uh, next week I'll pick out a random theme and see what we uh, will be watching. So, hope you guys stay tuned. Uh, feel free to share my videos, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.